This damn pussification is what creates toxicity. Well, this new Gillette, well, this, oh my god, this new Gillette ad is toxic and has nothing to do with their masculinity. It's a big virtue signaling atrocity that crossed the line and broke the internet, maybe in a good way. The hypocrisy of contemporary political agendas boggles my mind. In one way they say that we have to be inclusive and don't judge person by their background. But on the other hand, they say, please be my guest and segregate people by their genders. All in all, corporate world doesn't care about political agendas and what trends that prevail. The only reason for this commercial is nothing but a financial gain. Obviously, they don't care about their customers. The only thing they're catering in this commercial is popularity. They have zero understanding for culture and they summed up all men as being big pile of misogynistic, harassing, raping shit. Oh wow, how original of you Gillette. This sort of virtue signal hasn't been seen before. So let's dive in into this commercial and I will break it down bit by bit. Is this the best a man can get? Is it? We can't hide from it yet. This stereotypical myth has been debunked over and over again. By this time, all reasonable people should know that aggression is not a trait exclusive for masculinity. All type of aggression is natural for humans and has nothing to do with your race or gender. It is in our DNA and it is a part of our complex emotional communicative ability. Of course, some of you may say that some cultures are more prone to aggression and violence. And yes, you can make aggression to be culturally accepted. But what I'm trying to say is that aggression is not only typical for men. And studies have already shown that women are at least as aggressive as men. It's been going on far too long. You can laugh it off. What I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. Come on, this bullshit again. Being a dick has nothing to do with whether you're a man or a woman period, and portraying stereotypical power-greedy people in such manner doesn't solve any problem. Telling a person to stop being a douchebag won't make that person to stop being a douchebag. You have to understand where that person comes from. And I am not saying that it is okay to be a dick. All I'm saying is just it's better to come to the roots of the problem instead of just scratching them on the surface and trying to play the blame game. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. Oh wow. Another shaming tactics. Boys will be boys. Yes, boys will be boys. Whether political representatives want to admit or not, there's a huge biological difference between the genders. And I don't mean in a superficial way. Yes, girls have vaginas, yes, boys have penises, but these are not the only traits that separate us from each other. If you didn't know, let me educate you briefly. These are some masculine traits and these are some feminine traits. It doesn't mean that one gender is better than the other. And there will be no going back. Because we we believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Come on. To say the right thing. To act the right way. Guys, what a fucking clown. So it is not cool to go up to a woman and ask her for a date. How the fuck are you supposed to procreate these days? So the most concise explanation to all of this gender war that is happening nowadays is only matter of power. Power leads to control and control makes it easier for you to entice your followers to consumerism. 
Most often than not, men are the breadwinners in society. And if they are broke loose, it's harder to control them. These kind of strategies are applied to make men submit, to make men submit and have control over them. Yeah, you can keep telling your daughter to be strong, but is she really? Don't get me wrong, I think every parent should encourage their child to have a faith in themselves, to believe in themselves, to make the most of their life. But it seems to me that denying men's physical advantages over a woman is like denying existence of gravity. Men's choice of labor in sectors such as construction, oil mining, pipe laying and other physically challenging workplaces is not a coincidence. This freaking competition between genders for the same workplaces has to stop. We are meant to complete each other, not run over. Women are much better in other senses of life. It doesn't mean that one set of traits is better than the other sets of traits. We have to work together. Oh well, fighting for your cause, even physically, is an evolutionary characteristic that we have learned to control in civilized societies. Conformity knocked the drive out of men today. I am not exhorting to violence, I am merely saying that we have to channel our emotions, our feelings towards something productive. Achieving goals, breaking barriers and creating value in society. We have lost all sense of empathy. Men shouldn't be told to express their feelings by weeping and crying, but channeling that energy towards something greater, something good. This damn pussification is what creates toxicity, because men today don't know the direction in life they have to take. And that's why they end up being violent and needy, not the other way around. Today masculinity is on decline and is in a huge deficit. We need more masculine men today to make the world great again. I'm out.